Yo, yo, in the grudge within within the Ultra Vegito form. <laughs> Ultra Vegito kills a Z fighter. So our story continues with Ultra Vegito having just defended Dr. Jero from Android 17's kick, which in the original timeline was meant to kill him. Leaving not only Dr. Jero, but 17 and 18 completely shocked on top of the Saiyan's strange request to now become an android himself. With the doctor immediately reacting, Make make you an arm? You must have lost your mind. Who the hell do you think you are to demand that of me? I still don't know who you even are, or how you got into my secret lab. Bro, he just saved your me. life. Make him an arm. But in a comedic turn of events, Ultra Vegito points forward his gruesome severed stump of an arm and replies, Well, old man, first off, unless you want me to cover this whole lab in my blood, I'd suggest you start doing something about this injury of mine. I would have told him, bro. I am the guy who just saved your head from being kicked off soccer style to the next dimension. Facts. I, mean, I will Hakai this whole lab. He don't even know what that means. <laughs> You don't even know what that means. I want Hakai everything here. You will be nothing, this nigga. <laughs> well, I don't know, but I'd say you owe me a favor. You owe me. <laughs> put, put, put your foot on that man neck. neck. Vegito. Turns his head to seventeen, remembering the turn of events that just happened, reacting in anger. Nah, he that's, he definitely gonna be watching true. now for seventeen. You, you ungrateful traitor. It seems you're in need of far more recalibrations. The Damn, personality bro. adjustments have made you even worse. In fact. Perhaps you need to be put to sleep as a scrap project altogether. Oh man. Right. Immediately, of course, alarming. They about to start bargaining with well, Ultra Vegeta. To remain idle in the capsule he came out of. But of course, knowing how powerless he is, now that Dr. Jero has this unexpected bodyguard. Turning around to his last remaining creation that hasn't turned on him, Dr. Jero naively calls out to Krillin's Though 18 is definitely turn, turning on once. For whatever reason, That's his sister. You are functioning as intended. Restrain your brother at once, will I find the deactivation remote. Yeah, his eyes to watch 17 closely, he continues. It seems he can no about the backstab, yo. Eh? Now that he poses a danger to both you and I. Though he was programmed to be stronger than you, it is more in techniques and ability than physicality. Why why he make her why he make 17 stronger? That's that's sexist. That's sexist, Jero. You're getting cancelled. I'm telling Twitter. We're canceling you. The fuck? He made 17 stronger. Exclaiming, Now, where are you? I know it was in this pocket. Ah, there you are. And suddenly, Dr. Jero pulls up finally the deactivation remote that with a press of a button can Did she even restrain him? And 18 whenever the doctor desired. Huh? Wait, no. What? Not that damn remote again. And both 17 and 18 they, are left bro, they have inch. flashbacks. They scared. By just the sight of the one device that renders them in all their strength. Yeah, that shit traumatic. Helpless, them niggas looking scared. Jero ultimate power over them. But trying to keep her calm as well as the act that she's performing just as Dr. Jero had intended, mm -hmm. Android 18 once again ups her feminine charm. Yeah. Touching her hair and replying, I see. I guess number 17 never was up to scratch, was he? I'll gladly help you deactivate him, Doctor. 17 is clearly in need of some more tuning. But please, bro, she about to fish Jero in the chest. After which, 18 inexplicably, just like her brother before her, begins walking behind the doctor. Man, she's gonna kill you, bro. Yells, 18, now what the hell are you doing? 17, why you keep there. letting him walk behind you? Have malfunctioned. Do as you're commanded at once, or I will shut you down too. To which 18, keeping her cool, just softly replies, Oh, sorry, doctor. I thought you meant you wanted me to back you up. Sure, I'll handle this myself. Okay. Just like this. What? 18, oh, she just snatched the remote. Doing? As instantly, just like in the original timeline, Android 18 swiftly disarms Dr. Jero of his remote with one fell swoop. Oh, Jero just a bitch, I ain't gonna lie. That's what it is. Dr. Jero to react in horror, as not one, but both of his prized creations. And Vegito not even doing nothing to stop this, bro. <laughs> He's just letting it happen, bro. <laughs> like, stop them. He could at least knock them out. Meanwhile, leaving Ultra Vegito to just sigh in complete disappointment, seeing a one-to-one -one repeat of events even after saving his life just moments earlier, commenting, This is absolutely tragic. Weren't you supposed to be one of the greatest minds on Earth? Even smarter than Bond's Yeah, that's father. crazy. How do you let two toasters out of mind <laughs> in literally the same exact way? Right. Pathetic. This man is an idiot, bro. Now in possession of the key to freeing both her and her brother, finally, forms a massive... Bro, just smash at 18 at this says, point. On second thought, I think 17 is working just fine. Okay. So I'll be taking this doctor. With your old age, I don't think you should be handling such advanced technology. She just said this man got dementia. <laughs> I think you may have lived long enough. It's time we put you to sleep. 
Bro, this is man Vegito's like, bro, make my arm. Stop arguing with these androids. Is he really going to make me save him again? Yes. What a pathetic excuse for a creator. Can't even keep control of his own puppets. Does he not remember the old timeline? Only difference is I will actually succeed in eliminating them. Regardless, I'm not letting that damn android ruin my chance of becoming whole again. Krillin's woman or not, I never even liked her in the first place. Damn! What the fuck? Now that's gotta be Vegeta. <laughs> that's gotta be Vegeta hating on Android 18, bro. For what, bro? <laughs> oh, no, that is. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> now that is for show sure, Vegeta, cause yo he got his arm bro by it, bro. It's, <laughs> Vegeta feel <laughs> yo he on the grudge within within the ultra Vegeta form. <laughs> yo that's crazy, bro. Krillin's woman or not, I never even liked her in the first place. Dog. Probably about time I paid her back for what she did to Vegeta's arm. Yo that's sick. <laughs> he about to break her arm. That would be fun, funny if he make her all oh, no, he really's gonna do it. <laughs> she viewed him as no threat. Is she crazy? What? Seventeen couldn't even stop this man from what? He Hokkaid? No. 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 Yo, that's crazy. I ain't gonna lie, that would be so terrifying to see. Especially when, like, you don't know nothing about this. Dog. I was expecting him to break her arm or something like that. Rip her arms off. Well. There goes one more to the realm of nothing. Well, he got his get back. He got his revenge. You had no afterlife anyway. Yeah. Maybe now Krillin can start dating someone more. Yeah, that junk is kind of messed up that she wouldn't have an afterlife anyways. Because if she died, like she's not even human. Like she's she's an android. So where did she go? You know what I'm saying? Does she really even have a soul? Most likely not. You had no afterlife anyway. <laughs> Maybe now Krillin can start dating someone more in his league. <laughs> he just said oh, Krillin can date somebody uglier. <laughs> what did you do to my sister? As immediately in terror, Android 17 steps back with wide eyes, completely unable to even comprehend what he's just seen. No data in the world could even hope to explain how his powerfully built sister had just vanished into thin air on the command of a stranger. Powerfully built? She weakened in 17. Android 18! And the remote too! What did he... What did he do to her? I can't sense any trace of her in the surrounding area. This man... Got her ass erased. What is he? <laughs> what was that? Wait, this nigga just popped up? Oh my god. So So or sensing somehow the erasure of his once destined wife. Suddenly he calls out Hey guys, they're in here. Right over there, near that cave. Instantly alerting snitching to the location of Dr. Jerome's lap, finally. Dang, Vegito really might have to kill all his homies. Suddenly turn around to the sound of Krillin's voice. Eat that he, of all people. he really don't even gotta kill them though, cause he can get Boma to make him an arm. Like I just don't understand why he didn't get Boma to make him an arm. Like honestly, he could have just let this alone and just went to Boma and been like, "Hey, make me an arm." Would be the first to detect Doctor Jerome's whereabouts. <laughs> Finally, you better not be wasting our time, Boldy. I want those tin cans to witness my legendary power now. Lead the way. No way, <laughs> Vegeta. <laughs> just like that, all four Z fighters then fly off immediately towards Krillin's location. With Piccolo yelling, brace yourself, guys. We've been looking for a while. Wait, where's Gohan? It's too late to have stopped the androids activating. Stay on guard. To which Vegeta Copley responds, <laughs> Speak for yourself, green man. I don't need to fear anything. While Trump's indiscriminately responds, to, But he oh, just saved your arm. Made it in time. So I'm wondering now, in this timeline, will Vegeta ever hold his arm? Like, will he ever have arm problems in this timeline? Because, like, now that Android 18 is gone, he will, He should never have an arm issue like that again. Like, now nah, he should definitely be stronger, you know what I'm saying? And, and you know what I'm saying? His arm, it, it, it's, it'll never be broken. Because that was a long-lasting effect on my boy. You know what I'm saying? So now he good when you really think about it. Every fight that he get into now in this timeline, he should be he should be blitzing everybody straight up. You know what I'm saying? Because his arm not handicapped. I'm just saying. And eventually, just as Krill had indicated, the five Z fighters find the mountain the laboratory is located within. 
and go all along, enter the cave, and find themselves at the foot of the steel doors, which understandably can't be entered without a code. As Kuren comments, Tien looks guys, so weird. I'm sure I heard a couple voices. They shut tight though. Do we just wait for them to come out or what? Or just or blast it open. Wait, a couple of voices? That means Dr. Jaro isn't alone. That means he activated the androids. We're too late. We have to get out of here. Uh, you know what? They see Ultra Vegito. They might just start scrapping with him. Damn, what if Ultra Vegito become like Cell? Enough of your mindless chat. Of this universe. If they're in there, then I'm coming in. Stand aside, fools. I'll be blown apart with it. What? Immediately shocking future trunks, who yells widely back at Vegeta in fear, knowing all too well the horrors of the android's power. No! Stop! If the android's already here, we need to run! run. If they see us, we're all dead! We need to wait for Goku! <laughs> Shut up in mentioning that clown! The Prince of Saiyans needs nobody's help! <laughs> in Vegeta fashion, trunks using the G-word only unleashes his rage and temper, as he immediately blasts forward a key blast straight at the two doors. <laughs> they can say the G word. Is that supposed to be Goku? The collision, of course, causing mass collateral damage with everyone nearby. Is bro? Is, is he using Dragon Ball Z a bridge like like they quotes in lines, bro? <laughs> I feel like he just said two Dragon Ball Z a bridge quotes. To cover himself from the beam's power, and just like that, to the surprise of all three inside, the doors of the laboratory fall to the ground, crumble. And for the first time, the Z fighters lay their sights on not only Android 17 but also Ultra Vegito. With numbers this is about to be so thinking, weird, bro. Uh, are these Goku's friends? As Dr. Jiro, now in an even more shell shocked state by the sudden intrusion, yells, What? How did they find my lab so quickly? And finally, Vegito, knowing this would eventually happen, but still nonetheless unimpressed, thinks, Ugh, just as I kill one cockroach, a million others just crawl out from underneath her. I don't think I can bear to be dealing with this lot right now. Not after all this time. This, this is a nightmare. All my plans ruined. Both androids rebelled again. 18 is missing. 18 is missing. I need now, to see why you want 18 here, bro. Damn fools have found me. She would have been killed. She would have killed you. My dear Cell, you're my only hope. Cell probably would have killed Jero too, though. Sensing the feeling of desperation the doctor is now under, uncharacteristically, then offers some words of comfort. Even if only for his own benefit, as he says, Listen, old man. I think you know as well as I do. The jig is up. Whatever way you look at it, you're going to be killed by someone. Right. Either by your little android over there, or Vegeta and his guys out there. Mm -hmm. Maybe even Piccolo will be the one to finish you after ripping off your hand. But in this room, know this. Two beings tried to kill you, and right. I stopped both of them. You owe Whatever me. You cut it, I'm the only person on your side right now. Right. Whether you know who I am or not. So are you going to follow my wishes and survive? Like, he should have been made him the R. <sighs> leaving Dr. Jiro near silent as he tries to compute what to do, before a more sinister look comes to Vegito as he reveals one final addition, saying, Promise to fix me a strong, indestructible arm. Indestructible is crazy. Upgrades that I see fit. This and nigga I'll about to get Wakanda tech. Outside for you. I'll even throw in, making that pretty looking android over there disappear too. Wait, wait, what? Even throw upgrades that I see fit, and I'll handle all of those punks outside for you. I'll even throw in, making that pretty looking android over there. This pretty looking too. android. What? Make me oh, look at this man. 17 is scared. He's shaking. Damn. Never would have expected 17 more, to be so soft. He could from or like so scared. His sister mysteriously did. But that is kind of uh, scary, scary though, seeing somebody disappear before you. He truly has no choice but to agree. Finally concedes and lets out. F fine. I accept. Just deal with this all. I need to live. I don't care how you do it. <laughs> okay, so what is he about to do? To on Vegito's face as he responds smugly, Perfect. I knew you'd see it my way, old man. I guess you are a smart guy after all. Bro, is he really about and to kill his team, said, though? Vegito then These his peoples! The standing patiently Z fighters, only at first appearing as a dark silhouette. As Piccolo yells out, Hey, someone's coming! Get ready. Trunks, is that one of the androids you told us about? The teenage boy? But he better have a talk no jutsu with him. finally comes out into full view in the sunlight, brushing his hand through his hair. He oh my god. Well, hello. Imagine, imagine, imagine this man Ultra Vegito really actually break, break Vegito arm though, trying to tell him to leave. <laughs> like that shit gonna be terrible, bro. Friends. Or should I say young? Old oh, friends? Young friends? As instantly Trunks reacts in complete shock, letting out to everyone that... That isn't one of the androids, guys. That isn't. That isn't 17 or 18. Facts. Who the hell is he? I'm surprised you can't kind of like but that was it for figure out who it is by looking at him. Like, like, 
know what I'm saying? He look a little familiar. He look, you, you don't tell me, you, you tell me you don't look a little bit familiar, bro. Just like a little bit familiar. You don't, you don't see the resemblance a little bit when you look at your dad. When you think of Goku. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, he is a saying too. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, we, we not thinking a little bit like, who could this? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just don't know, gang. I just don't know, gang. But, uh, yeah. I just I just hope that Ultra Vegito does a talk no jutsu and tell them to get out of here. And the least damage he does is like break Krillin's arm. Or not Krillin's arm, but uh Vegeta's arm and then tell everybody to leave and be like, look, if y'all leave after Jero makes me an arm, I'll kill him for y'all and y'all never have to do do you know what I'm saying, deal deal with this ever again. Because Vegeta is gonna wanna fight. He gonna wanna fight. You know what I'm saying? He gonna wanna fight. So I know he not if, if you try to talk no juice with him, he he not gonna listen. So you gotta kinda like break something on him. And then they just take him away. You know what I'm saying? Knock him break break his arm, knock him out. All right, y'all, I will handle the rest. Just let me, you know what I'm saying? Allow me to get my arm, allow me to get, you know what I'm saying, what I need, and then boom. You know what I'm saying? He'll be going out of y'all here. Everybody lives. I'll I'll have my arm and I'll be out your way. Simple as that. You know what I'm saying? And 17, I mean, you know, I love 17, but just kill him. Go ahead and get him up out of here. Simple as that. But yeah, 